Ten days since the release, the Kitengela 3 are still unable to share their experiences with the public as they are still traumatized. Now, activist Bob Njage, who held a Thanksgiving service in Kitengela, uh, thanked Kenyans for standing with them in calling for their release. This as YPA leader Kalonzo Mosioka, who attended the service, pledged to continue pushing for the release of over 100 Kenyans who are still missing since the Gen Z protests. Let's get more from our very own Jirogi Gatete. At Glorious Gospel Centre Church in Kitengela, Activist Bob Njagi went to seek solace. Njagi came out for the first time, 10 days after he was released by his abductors. The experience so fresh and scary that he could not even share before the altar, only giving a promise that they will soon speak about their ordeal. Asante kwa, kwa Kenya wote, kwa kusimama na sisi ambao tulikuwa tumete kwa nyara, Jagi, Aslam Longton and Jamil Longton were abducted in Kitengela and Mlolongo on August 19th before being released a month later on September 19th. The three through family members had described their ordeal as horrifying as they were held in dark rooms where they were tortured and starved as they only received one meal a day. Pigo alifanywa torture. Walipigwa kidogo. Yeye anasema alipigwa aslam pia akasema alipigwa. Alipopigwa akaanza kuuliza mambo na maandamano. So anasema hiyo kwanza hiyo wiki paka wiki ya pili walikuwa wanapigwa sana. Especially aslam their abduction resulted to a court battle between the Law Society of Kenya and the police, leading to the conviction and sentencing of Deputy Inspector General of Police, Gilbert Masengeli, for contempt of court. Masengeli had been ordered to produce the three or explain their whereabouts. I swear by the name of Almighty God. The court decision was, however, set aside after Masengeli honored court summons hours after the three were released by their abductors in Kiambu County. Opposition leaders who attended the service, led by WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka, vowed to challenge abduction and holding of innocent Kenyans in court. Hakuna mkenya kona amani, because ajua tanyakulua usiku wa manane, na kupelekwa mahali pasipo julikana, kinyume na sheria. We call them out. We call out those Subaru abduction squad. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you will not succeed. Tuko hapa kuhakikishia wale hawajapatikana ya kwamba kama upinzani na uongozi mbada la wenchi hii. Hatuta wacha kuwapigania hadi haki itendeke wa kila familia wamechukua watoto wa. The leaders also want government held responsible for the deaths recorded during the anti-government protest back in 2023. Gatete Njoroge, Citizen TV.